Hi Stampers, this is Diane Cisneros and I was going to just show you how to make this little pouch. This is a Halloween pouch and uh, I've got a couple pieces of candy in there and I'll show you the set I made it with. I made it with Freaky Friends and uh, the little saying is from Ghoulish Greetings. So I will uh, get started. I chose the paper from um, the designer series paper from this page. That is Motley Monsters, and I'm using everything on this page: the Tangerine Tango trim and these two sets. So, um, okay. First of all, I cut a piece of Bermuda Bay, which is one of the colors in here. And I cut this, um, let's see, it is eight and a half before I do this trim. So you would cut it eight and a half by three. Now, if you don't want it that wide, you can go two and a half, you can go four, or whatever you want. The important thing is that we get this little notch in the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so eight and a half by three. Then you're going to put it in the Simply Scored, and you're going to score it at four, four and a quarter, and four and a half. Then you're going to pick it up, and you're going to fold it down. Then you're going to fold each side up. And then when you open it, you will notice the little notch. That's the bottom of your little treat package. Okay, so when we close it, this is what we're going to use. Okay, I also um, use the Perfect perfect Polka Dots embossing folder, and, and to do that, I did one side at a time. And the little nubs are pointing up here, so that's the way I did it. I just put it in this far, and then push that up when you're pushing it through the, the uh, Big Shot so that it doesn't uh, flatten out your creases. And then I turned it around and did the same thing on this side. And just put it in on that half. Okay, so now we have this made. And I want to make a belly band. So I'm using that Motley Monsters uh, paper. And this paper is cut uh, two and a half by seven. And then I scored it at one and seven eighths. So you're going to put it in your score, uh, simply scored. You're going to go one and seven eighths and five. And then that will go around perfectly. So then I'm going to use my fast fuse. You know how much I love fast fuse. I have to use it. I have to learn how to use it. It's just no way of getting out of it. It's I guess it's the angle that I hold it at. It's different than the um, adhesive. So when you put it together, you want to make sure it's even on both sides. Okay. So there we have that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some of this uh, Tangerine Tango two tone trim and I'm going to bring it around and cut. And then I'm going to tie a knot. and make it tight enough so it'll support your little pouch. And then I twist it so it'll go over here. Cut them so they're even. Uh, then I took the third framelit in, I mean in the center. So the third from the center. This is from the Circles Collection. And then I used the Starburst collection, and I used the second one in. And I ran those through 
my Big Shot. And I have them. Oh, here they are. Okay. So what I did was I took uh, this little guy here and I stamped him in, uh, let's see, Tangerine Tango on the white. And then I cut it out with the Big Shot right there. Then I did the black with this. It has the little points on it. So I'll move that over and go ahead and see I'm not even bringing I'm forcing myself to use this. There. Okay. So I can learn. Okay, so now I'm just, I have misplaced my, um, my punch that is just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just put two or three little holes right here so I can get some thread through there. And I'm going to take my white twine, put it through the hole. I'm going to run it up underneath. I'm just going to tie a knot. Oh no, I guess I tied a ball if I have enough string. All thumbs. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now I'm going to trim that off a little bit. Tighten it, and I have a little tag. Uh, then I used um, the Itty Bitty Banners framelits, and I used this Kirby one to cut out the word Trick or Treat, which is from that Ghoulish Greetings right here, and the Memento ink, the black. And I'm also going to put some, um, I like to use the little edges from my dimensionals. I bet you're all waiting to see which word I forget on this video. Haven't forgotten one yet. Okay, so. Oh, it shows. Just a minute. Okay, so we'll get that off. And I'm just going to put trick or treat across the top. And I also have some little eyeballs. I thought I'd put on this little guy. And they're real close together. So, oops. So he looks cross eyed. Okay, now my candy, all you do is you open it, slide it in, and it'll hold two good sized pieces of candy. And your belly band and your twine will hold it so that it's an easy, quick um, little gift. Okay, on this one, I'm not going to do it now because we're running out of time. Uh, but, well, I guess I will do it. Okay, what I did was I untie, untangle the orange and the white. I'm not going to do, do the whole thing for you, but you understand what I'm doing here. Just to make it look stringy. So, you can do that, and that way it'll look like this over here. And I think these are adorable. Now, can you imagine what you could do? I mean, you could make all of these and um, give the kids a choice of which one they want. 
There's the, the designer series paper that goes with this is beautiful, colorful, and um, it is a treat. So I hope you like that, and I will be talking to you soon. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to tell you one thing. Oh my goodness, so I did forget something. Anyway, after you cut your, your uh, Bermuda Bay, I used the Scallop Framelit. Can you see it? And what I did was I left it together, both together like this, and just ran it through the big shot. And when you do that, it cuts both back and front together. So now we're done. So I didn't want to leave that off because I think that adds a lot to the cuteness. Okay, talk to you soon.